Last week we were in Taraka and this week we continue our journey in the Nithi part of the county. Could the tallest tree in Kenya be found in this county? How does maternity ya elephant look like? Ama tuseme pumwani ya elephants. We get to see that on this episode as we visit Mitheru Forest. To hapa tuende tunapenda maji, we will pass by the magnificent Nithi River. Also get to enjoy the scenic view from the Nithi Bridge. Last week we explored Kevoka River and its potential to transform this county for life. I don't know if you can hear it, but naangalia maji. The High Grand Falls Dam is set to be built here. We also learned about Kerimo and Kevoka. And their tales. And enjoy the calmness that comes with being around waterfalls at Equa Falls. Today we start off the journey in Karingani location, Dangani sub-location, Mutongoroine village in Tarakanithi County. There is more to the name Mutongoroine because the village holds a piece of history. This piece of history, or should I say, the fairest and tallest of them all. This reminds me of story of Snow White. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? Anyway, I was saying, this iconic tree is not found in a park or public land. Ni kwa private land. Na ni lazima tungeomba ruhusa kuingia. So residents here say there's a legend called Motongoroni. Who is the tallest, the tallest in the whole of Africa? I say he's the tallest or she's the tallest. Let's go find out. Karibu. Habari? Nzuri sana. Yes, karibu sana. Asante sana. Yeah. Jina ni Njora. Okay. Uh -huh. Na mimi naitwa Moses Gitari. Ah. Sasa nimesikia kuna kuna mtu hapa mrefu sana. Yes. Eh, yeah. na ningependa kumuona. Okay. Eh. Yeah. Hii community kubwa. Eh. Yeah. Ya, yeah, na mko karibu. Naweza karibu hata anaona uko na marafiki wako. Eh, yeah, niko na. Ya. Yeah, ya welcome. Ndio kwa unaweza ingia? Ingie mtu. Motongoro tree is believed to be the tallest tree in Kenya, estimated to be 87 meters high and three and a half meters in diameter, which is compared to a cumulative height of 50 men. Lakini our men lazimi wakua meunga kwa urefu. Huu mti ni mrefu kuliko Nation Center. Nation Center is about 82.9 meters high. Hama wacha tu tuseme, imekaribia kutoshana na Nyayo House, which is 84.9 meters high. Hili tukuze kujua ni mrefu. Kulikuwa na miti mwingi sana within the area. Yeah. So tulikuwa tunaona tu kawaida. Yeah. Kuna nyingine ilikuwa huko Meru inaitwa King Mouru. Uh -huh. Meru, Meru County. Yeah. So kulikuwa na fununu ya kwamba hii miti ni ndogo kushinda yeah. hiyo iko huko. Yeah. So wakati measurements zilifanywa yeah. walikundua hii ndio mrefu Kenya mzima. Kenya mzima. Kenya mzima ya. Yeah. Yeah. So and that's why tulianza tu ku market. Yeah. Na sasa na, na, nani hao walikuja wakapima? Our Kenya Forest. Kenya Forest. Yes. Now, walipima, saan, urefu wake ni how many meters ama wanapima na nini? Walikuja waka tumia drone. Yeah. Tena kuna machine yamba wanatumianga kupima the height. Yeah. So, walipima yoki to 2018. Yeah. So, 2018. 2018. Yeah. And it was 87 meters. 87 meters. 87 meters high. 87 and, meters high. Yes. Uh -huh. And uh, diameter ya... Yeah. 
three and a half meters. Yeah. So I think it is growing. I in a kuwa mtu juu mimi naona tu inaendelea kuwa. Inaendelea tu kuwa. So it might be even <laughs> hundred. Eh. Yes. Uwe. Yeah. So tallest tree in Kenya. Yeah, it is the tallest tree in Kenya. Sasa kuna nyingine isipokuwa hii. Na sasa umesema hiyo ya Meru inaitwaje? King Mouru. King Mouru. Yes. Na huyu anaitwaje? Hii inaitwa Mutunguru. Mutunguru. Yeah. Okay. So it uh, it's like uh, it was a sac some sacred trees. Eh. Yeah. Eh uh, vile sasa tulienda tukiachiwa yeah. kama hapa kulikuwa msitu. Mimi ni yeah. ilikuwa msitu nika nika pasua nika pasua ambao nikasoma. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. Nikaambiwa hii waacha ikae. Yeah. Usiuze haraka. Na nani alikuambia uache ikae? Baba yangu. Ah yeah. Ya yeah, juu alikuwa ananunulua kitu kama 50,000. Eh. Yeah. So nikamwambia waache ikae hapo. Yeah. Maybe the place may go up. Inezaenda juu. So to kingoja the place ikuwa hapo ikakuwa the tallest in Kenya. <laughs> And now the story hadn't like that. Yeah. Yes. Mutungu. It is also believed to be over 250 years old. So alijuaje miaka na height ya huu mti? Eh miaka miaka tulifanya tulipima na the vice chancellor at Chuka University. Eh yeah. tukachukua eh ngozi yake yeah. na matawi. Yeah ina ikaenda kwa raba ikafanyika ikaonekana ni 250 years 250 years 250 years According to Guinness World Records the world's tallest tree ama tuseme the king of the giants is believed to be found in California in the United States standing at 116 meters tall Inaitwa Hyperion tree tuseme uko karibu kufikia Teleposta Towers which is 120 meters tall Mutunguru tree was also used during the colonial era by women to locate the Mau Mau freedom fighters in the forest in order to give them food. The hollow part in the tree's trunk also provided them with a hiding place when fighting with the colonialists so that they could not trace them. Hapa ni kanyumba hata unaweza jifunika hapa. Ya yeah, hiyo nyumba yeah. ilikuwa naambiwa ilikuwa hata inatumika na watu wa Maumau. Watu wa Maumau? Ya yeah, juu ilikuwa msitu. Yeah. Ilikuwa okay. msitu kwa. Yeah. So ni, walikuwa wanakuja kujificha huko. Na na ikosi kulikuwa na miti miti mingi kama kama hii. Hata we suspected ni wao walitengeneza hiyo kashimo oh. kwa zetu tulikuta. Hehe. <laughs> The tree was also used as a shrine by elders and also as a place of sacrifice to please the spirits especially when there was no rain. But in the modern day this specific tree has its own powers. To say me inaweza tumika kama weather forecast. So most of the times in Uganda wanatumia ku predict the the rain. Mm. Tukiona kama September imeanza ku drop matawi mengi sana. Yeah. Watu wanajua mvua iko kali. Oh, umti wanga ina drop matawi sasa ndio ndio yeah. utajua mvua ina. Yeah, utajua mvua iko karibu. Ama yeah. upepo mingi sana yeah. inaguru, inaguruma mpaka unasikia inaguruma. Yeah. Most of the people wanajua anga sasa hiyo ni wakati wa kupanda. Okay. So ni kama tu pia wanaitumia to predict. So, the focus. Right, yeah, exactly. <laughs> the Motunguru tree is visible as far as 40 kilometers away. This is an important landmark for navigation in the county. So this county is named Tarakanithi. Taraka is a community found in the plains part of the county. But what of Nithi? No, it is not a community. These waters that flow in the highland part of the county are the Nithi River. This is Nithi Bridge along B6 Meru Nairobi Highway. A view to behold. Mto unaitwa Mto Nithi. Mto Nithi. Nithi, eh? Na Nithi inamaanisha? Nithi, Nithi inamaanisha mto. Mto. Oh, kwa hivyo. Sasa ile yenyewe ilikuwa inaitwa Nithi Constituency. Okay. Sasa hii Nithi Constituency ikakatwa mara mbili. Moja ikakuwa chuka igamba ngombe yeah. na ingine ikaitwa Mara Constituency mahali sasa tulipo, tulipo hapa yeah. mahali tunasimama hapa sasa yeah. mto Nithi yeah. uko katika Mara Constituency Mara Constituency Now we are in Mara Constituency 
There is the breathtaking landscape you get to enjoy as you take a drive. I'm okay to Mesimama Kando and Nithi Bridge. In the past though, Nithi Bridge has been referred to as a killer bridge. Belen ilikuwa ilikuwa brack spot. Yeah. Lakini wakati la iskebaki airingia. Yeah. Kulikuwa na lin akatengeneza rin bili yeah. ya kupanda kuelekea melu mm. na lin moja mm. ya kutelemka kama unaelekea Nairobi. Sasa ni kwa nini so, lin moja kushuka mbili za kupanda? Uh, rin moja kushuka yeah. sasa hiyo magali wezi overtake yeah. kama unaelekea kwa bridge sababu oh. accident zilikuwa zinaoka yeah. wakati magali ilikuwa na over speed ya yeah. overtaking has there been a change oh, ime reduce sana yeah. lakini kuna eh, ime reduce yeah. lakini beleni ilikuwa yeah. every month tulikuwa tunatarajia mambo baya yeah. ya hii bridge This specific bridge was built in 1983. But what was there before its construction? So where we are from is what Nithi Bridge is and it was built in 1983 after independence. However, that was not the first bridge. This was and was built in 1952. Na ilijangwa na mkoloni. Lakini sisi ndio tulijenga ile noma. Residents still use it as well as the main path to access Nithi River. This is an interesting aspect of road construction. You may have noticed that most roads still maintain the old bridge even after the new one is constructed. It literally means we should not destroy the old bridges just because we have new ones. Simekwambia tuende Nithi. Kuja. Sounds like good relationship advice. Next to the bridge lies the calm water splashing and gently moving through the trees. Mitheru Forest in Gadeka area can easily pass as just an average place within the expansive Mount Kenya Forest in Tarakanithi. Lakini usidanganyike, this is not just an ordinary place. But before ni kwambie why it's not an ordinary place, I noticed before you access the forest gate, there is a tea plantation belt separating the forest and communities. Kuna vile tu binadamu upenda kuchovya chovya pole pole and that is how communities living next to the forest would extend their boundaries. So the Moi administration came up with the tea zones. Since tea takes a long time to mature, hakuna vile unaweza amka tu and extend your land. Back to this place being extraordinary. So, Mitheru is part of the larger Mount Kenya forest that surrounds the mountain and is one of the most beautiful places I have visited so far. In the morning at Mitheru, we get to witness something remarkable as the water vapor rises from the trees. Kwa wale mnaulizanga miti uleta mvua aje tafadhali nenda kwa misitu asubuhi. It is a remarkable sight to behold. All that water vapor rising from the forest feeds moisture laden clouds while also causing convection. Together these effects accelerate the formation of rain which falls to the soil and gets taken up all over again. This cycle of absorption, evaporation and rain happens everywhere there are plants. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is how trees bring rain. This forest is also important to a specific group of Kenyans and it is not because it's given us water but something far more grand. 
This is why you experience one of nature's rarest scene as Africa's largest terrestrial mammal gives new life of its own. This is the elephant maternity and nursery. However, this only happens in the months of December and July. Elephants all the way from Laikipia, Mount Kenya and its environs begin to stream in in their droves with one purpose, to give birth. This is a classic case of expectation versus reality. Jimbo la kwa akili yangu nilifikiria tunaenda maternity ya elephant nitaona beddings nitaona kata unajua nitaona sijui nini however if you think about it kuna kwanga na soft beddings yeah sasa ndio maana wanakuja kwa hizi atai because it's soft and you're looking for a place that's secure this is um, it has cover quite uh, substantially thick and i hear uh, that the male elephants wanga wana surround sele sele the process of giving birth is happening the male elephants you know they surround and they give that security but yeah but imagine yani watoka na nyuki kuja ku give birth hapa hata wao elephants invest bana nyi mabulls yenye muna protect si mu invest mfungueni sako ama kitu kai hiyo but yeah but there is enough space and for elephants i can only imagine that this is we we are human beings and probably this is just for space here one one mother and her and her calf at this particular time mitheru forest is no longer an ordinary place like in ijua tukupata ndovu i was tempted to see in kale kawimbo ndovu ni cool ah ah ndovu ah yeah we get to hear testimonies and stories of how it happens from residents in mitheru so in your maternity in your maternity and of inaitwa kakeda elephant maternity kisha wakipata watoto wanateremka kwa mtu iko karibu wanaweka watoto wao matope ili wa wajuie kuumwa na mbu then wanawarudisha hapa tena na sasa na ni kwa nini wanakuja hapa elia hii ukiangalia hapa kuna miti Eh yeah. ni mahali pazuri yeah. ambapo miti aimei yeah. chenye kiko hapa yeah. ni majani oh. so wanapenda mahali hapa nje kuna majani yeah. na hawatashumbuliwa na miti wa kizawa watoto mahali nyingine kwani miti inawazuia inawazuia oh kwa uh, wa, kwa nini kwa nini inawazuia inawazuia yeah. kama kitambo mm kuna wakati walienda wakawafungulia kwa miti miti huko mm. juu yeah. alafu tuliona ama wenyeji waliona yeah. mtoto wa dovu yeah. alikuwa ma kwa kwa mti akakaa hapo oh. mpaka akaku akakufa <laughs> so they prefer oh. inside yeah. juu kuna miti mahali ya yeah. oh, mahali hapa <laughs> ni kuna ka, kuna ka bush yeah. ndio lakini bado kuna space kuna space eh, eh. kuna wen, kuna wao wow, maiona hivi ikizaa iki na hata unaweza kuwa ndovu pia naweza imagine inastua vile iko eh. si hata utaona mm. watakuza ndovu alafu uone ndovu wakubwa eh. alafu eh. wakikaa kama siku mbili tatu eh. utaona watoto wa ndo okay. watoto wa ndovu eh, ndovu eh. mm. na ni wangapi wamezaliwa sasa hapa vile iko hapa mm wezu kasema idadi ya wenye ndovu wamezaa hapa yeah. sababu anakuza in large numbers yeah. then unapata watoto wengi wako area hii kama oh, mwezi wa juu na jula then mimi sijui kama kuna matani tingine juu wanakuza hapa yeah. lakini wakitoka hapa wanatoka na, mm, na watoto yeah. Why is this place preferred by elephants for this activity? Nilikuwa nadhani it's only Kerimo huku that is summoned by a song. Kumbe hata ndovu zinaimbiangwa. Aya. Kiana kianjo ukire mato, kire mato mbai. Kiana kianjo ukire mato, kire mato mbai. Inamaanisha nini? Yeye inamaanisha ile masikio ya ndofu unajua inafunika. Unafunika karibu ivunike usho. 
ama macho yake macho kwa hivi saa ile inaenda inafunua hivi inaleta inafunua inaleta unaona kama e inapiga piga hewa hivi ndio maana yake i however spotted poop ya ndovu does that mean ilikuwa nusu ya kuonana na ndovu no Okay basi twende tukaone hiyo place ya watoto wa ndovu. Kama uh, wanaitwaje kwa Kiswahili? Lazima ningeulizwa mswahili. Lofty Matambo aliniambia anaitwa Kidanga. Na kizungu je, tuite baby elephants. Wacha basi tuite calf wanapelekwa kupakwa matope. Na pia on the corridor an electric fence has been erected to restrict encroachment and the movement of elephants. So hapa the electric fence. Oh. I guess as well just uh, extra precaution for wildlife and uh, and the community to be separated so up of the end uh, yeah, 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 yeah. also I didn't see the cobwebs <laughs> He didn't see the cobwebs. I didn't see the cobwebs. Hey. How do you know that Mgongo? Kanyele. The elephants smear themselves and their young ones with this mud to keep off sissy flies and other biting insects. Ni ndovu. Eh. Wow. Wewe ni ajuzi ama ni ya hii si ya kitambo sana. Eh. Wa ebuona. <laughs> the place also has a gentle slope that provides a safe location for bathing. So kiona ndovu yote around man Kenya, there is a high chance bath certificate yake inasoma mitheru. I also got to enjoy some wild fruits. The locals here call them gaganyo. The forest also provides the locals with a natural sweetener. Honey Before the introduction of sugar, our people used to get their sweet enough from the forest made naturally by the bees. And it is for this and many other reasons that our ancestors were great conservationists. Their lives were heavily dependent on the forests. I have really enjoyed the nithi part of the county. I can confidently say that this is one of the most breathtaking places I have visited so far. I get to witness something remarkable as the water vapor rises from the trees. I got to see how trees make rain in a place that is very special to Mount Kenya elephants. I got to see the tallest tree in Kenya and learn its history. I enjoyed the scenic view at Nithi Bridge and experienced the calmness of Nithi River. Next week I'll be taking you to one of the most scenic lakes I have ever seen. Lake Ellis. I'll show you the camping life at Lake Ellis. We will hike through the dense Mount Kenya forest to access the stunning view of Nithi Falls. Tune in next week same time and find out how we maneuver this journey